it's over. What's up, my name is Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to talk about Tesla stock split. So we're gonna talk about if this is a buy or this is a wait or whatever it's going on. So we're gonna cover that in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So um, I did a video here um, when Tesla first announced that they were going to do a five for one split. So I did that video. Uh, if you haven't already checked it out, I'm going to hook it up here so you can definitely go check it out. Um, to this video, we're just going to take it one step as uh, the stocks or uh, the split is going to start trading um, on Monday, um, August 31st. So the question is, should you wait or buy or I mean like what should you do in this and people have a lot of questions too as far as hey uh, what happens to uh, fractional shares if you own fractional shares so we're gonna cover all of that today um, but uh, where I want us to start is yes uh, this split has already happened um, if you were holding um, Tesla as of Friday August 28th that is that's it it's done um, the split has happened so as we get up our uh, Monday morning uh, August 31st you're gonna see that instead of the one share that you had for Tesla you're gonna have five shares um, the beauty is that the value of your shares uh, is not gonna change so if you own one share of Tesla all you're gonna do is take that share and split it into five so it's gonna be the same amount I'm gonna use an example here assume that you have have a, a pizza right a one big pizza you cut it in five pieces it's not like you've added or taken away from the pizza it's still five pieces that make that one so the value of your pizza is still the same but it's just been broken up into five separate pieces so that's what tesla did and so that's why you, you're going to get up in the morning you're going to see that the number of shares that you own would be higher but the value would stay the same then the price per share would be lower than what you were um, that you close the market on Friday with so it's not something for you to panic um, and, and so in a situation like this a lot of people uh, are wondering like hey this is a good time to get into Tesla because uh, what they call FOMO that fear of missing out a lot of people missed out on Tesla when it was at say 150 or 200 or 250 300 um, 350 even as just as just back in March when we had that huge COVID crash um, Tesla came down to 350 most people still didn't buy and then Tesla just skyrocketed all the way to over two thousand dollars so you're gonna see a lot of pressure in the market tomorrow a lot of volume people are gonna again this is my speculation I am anticipating that a lot of people are gonna want to jump in uh, because they don't want to miss out this time and that's gonna push the price up because um, the way the market works is that you have people that are selling you have people that are buying so if somebody is if somebody wants to 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 buy in there's not enough in the market they're gonna increase their their their, their price right they're gonna they're gonna increase the price to, to so that they can they can get filled so if let's say if, if i want to buy the stock and uh nobody's willing to sell i'm gonna keep opting my price like hey how about two thousand how about two thousand five hundred how about two thousand seven hundred until somebody on the sell side be like oh that's a good price I might sell it at that price. So um, I'm anticipating again that as soon as the market opens on Monday morning, we're gonna see huge volume. Um, orders are gonna come in, people are gonna be selling, people are gonna be buying um, again. Um, for people that are long term, if you can go in, the, the lower the price for you to enter, the better. Um, for people that are going to swing it, um, they can just go in, it moves up, they sell it and get out for day traders. And again, I'm going to say, I'm anticipating that a lot of day traders are probably going to want to trade this. And then some people are just going to wait for it as soon as it, it goes in that first rush, that mad rush. Uh, as soon as that slows down, it starts pulling back. Some people are going to try to short it. So there's so many strategies that that uh, are gonna play in here. But here's what I want you to do if you wanna buy Tesla long-term. Don't buy Tesla long-term just because you hear about people talking about it or you're worrying about the fear of missing out. I want you to buy Tesla long term because you understand the business model, you believe in what Elon Musk is doing, and you know for sure that this company is worth $393 billion. And I, I guarantee you that uh, 
after Monday, the price of this company might be 300 or maybe 400 uh, billion dollars. Who knows? But I want you to approach it from that perspective, especially if you're going to hold it long term. If you're day trading it, you have no emotions. All you want to do is either go in uh, low and, and sell high. And if you or people that do short selling, you want to buy high and you want to sell high and then buy low and make some profit. That's it. But if you're long term, you want to hold this for, for the long run. Make sure that you understand that this company has so many other components, not just cars. And here's why I personally am holding, have a position um, in, in my account that I'm going to hold long term. The reason is because I don't just look at Tesla as a car manufacturing or EV um, car manufacturing company. I look at it more as a technology company first. And then secondly, uh, from a business standpoint, yes, they do make cars, do make cars that people are excited about. Secondly, uh, they've actually shifted their business. Now they do talking about not just supplying uh, cars, but also supplying batteries. And they have, uh, I think battery day is coming up and Elon Musk is gonna present on battery day. And so they're gonna try to make battery as a service. So B-A-A-S, so that's battery as a service where um, and people can, can actually um, subscribe to, to, to uh, the service and get batteries. I don't know how they're gonna do it. If you're gonna get your battery shipped to you every month or you can go get it charged somewhere um, at, at, you know, at a fee and get your battery replaced every month. I don't really know how that's gonna work, but they are building that business model. And then the solar panels too, where, hey, not only would you get shingles in your house, but the shingles are gonna be solar panels. So you have uh, shingles that are powering your house, which is awesome. And then they have the mega pack, which is actually used um, to store power. So if you go to like windmills and all these other places, you can store windmills. Even in your house, you can have a mega pack where um, you have backup power where if your lights were to go off, it would switch to that back up and, and continue to power your house until your lights come back. So um, Tesla has so many things um, going on for them. Um, and again, I'm anticipating that uh, once this thing, um, the market opens on Monday morning, the price of this stock is probably gonna move up about like 10% um, just to, to start the day, but eventually um, pretty, slowly back up to somewhere around the six, 700 or 800 mark, even by December, because battery day, people are gonna be talking about Tesla. So they're not going anywhere soon. Um, I'm super excited about it. So um, question of the day, guys, what do you anticipate uh, is gonna to happen to Tesla in the next three months? Um, again, let me know in the comment section. My personal take, I think the price is gonna squeeze up um, during the market open on Monday, there will be a huge rush and then slow down before maybe a little pullback and then gradually start pulling up again um, over the long run. But again, I want you to go in with that mindset that this is not just um, because everybody's talking about it or the fear of missing out that you understand why you're investing in this company long term. You're not worried about anything. So, hey, let me know in the comment section again. If you're looking to get started with investing, um, now we have a promotion going on with Weibo where if you sign up um, using the link in the description, you get two free stocks, not one, two, to get you started when you deposit $100. I think it's a wonderful deal to get free stocks to get you started. It's awesome. So again, check the links in the description below. And as always, guys, Stay motivated.